as i have mentioned several times in my discussions that fluid mechanics is a very visual subject but in, it involves many things it involves uh, visualizing seeing the flow field understanding it modeling it mathematically and also understanding and applying the physics that is working behind it for this it's very important that we try and apply and 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 look at its examples so that we know that how the mathematical equations are used to help understand different aspects of uh, the fluid whichever uh, discussion we are doing at the time and which are whichever aspects we are looking at so in our foregoing discussions we had been talking about uh, kinematics in which there was uh, streamlines path lines uh, etc and also the velocity field the acceleration field and so on so we do we look at a few more examples on the same so here is one more example that the question is given the velocity vector v 1 plus t xi plus 2 plus t y j find the equation of the streamline the path line the streak line so these three things are different things and it is given to us that a common point for all these three streamline path line and streak lines are as given x equal to 1 y equal to 2 and z is obviously equal to 0 at time t at the initial stage because you can see that there is no z component in the field we can see the unit vectors i and j existing but there is no unit vector k which means that the motion is two dimensional and there is no motion taking place for this flow field in the z direction so given these quantities we try to find out the equation the question that has been given to us we try to find out the equations of streamline path line and then the streak line so very simple question the velocity vector first of all we write it down for our understanding and clarity that the velocity vector as a whole is as given and the velocity in the x direction is u component normally we denote it by u is 1 plus t into x taken from here i is a unit vector we don't write that in the uh, y direction in the the velocity component is v is equal to 2 plus t into y and from this we have to calculate the derivatives and so on now the equation of the streamline is dx by u equals dy by v equals dz by w is equal to ds what are streamlines streamlines represents the flow field let us say if they are moving if the fluid flow is moving in this direction then all these lines are showing the streamlines but in a general form they would look like this we draw them as this as shown as a curve this is a curve now in its special case it could be a straight line but generally we write it and therefore for curve in our geometry in our general notation we denote a small displacement or a small distance in a curve manner as ds so that is why this term there but this is a familiar equation we have mentioned it before now we are only going trying to calculate it so therefore since these are ratios each ratio is equal to the other one we can write it as dx by u is equal to ds dy by v is again equal to ds and dz by w is again dz since dz is zero this is zero when we calculate it from the values that we have been given this will be equal to dx by we replace here the value of u and here the value of 
the velocity component in the y direction. And we can write it as we leave x here and we cross multiply with 1 plus t in the into ds and therefore this will be dy by y into 2 plus t into ds. So this is just cross multiplication of this factor. And then we integrate it. So by simple integration as we know that the integral of let's say 1 over general function this is equal to log of x plus a plus some constant c and so on. So in the same way integrating the equation that has been given to us this is will be equal to log of x is equal to 1 plus t into s plus c1 some constant arbitrary constant that depends on time and similarly for the y component which we obtain as this and therefore from here if we try to find out the value of s you can see how easy it is to find s from the first function will be equal to log of x minus c1t but since c1 is a constant this is the value of this is again written here as plus instead of minus because the minus 1 is absorbed into c11 and written as c1 similarly c12 is also absorbed the minus sign here is absorbed into c2 and it's written as log of y plus c2 divided by this term 2 by t. This is s and this is s and therefore the two ratios are equal. When we equate them we get this. Now again this is a term in log of x log of y depending upon t. We write it in the form in a separate form so that it is easy for us to integrate it. And therefore, we try and separate the variables. So, by that method of separation of variables, we obtain here 2 plus t into log x is equal to 1 plus t log y. And this is since constant. So, therefore, these are the values. And again, and then we write them as, you know, that for a general function a log b is equal to log of b to the power a. So that formula is used here. So this 2 plus t goes up here and in this case 1 plus t goes up here and all this turns out to be a constant all depending upon some t. So when we put boundary conditions or initial values of time then this constant will take care of itself and now we write we combine all constants and combine them as c4. So the equation finally will turn out to be what is shown here. When we apply the initial conditions it is given as a part of question that when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 z is 0 and t is 0. When we substitute that we obtain the value of c4 substituting it give us the equation that relates y, x and the time t and when we give different values to x and t we will obtain streamlines of this form. You can see these are curves and x can go up to infinity and therefore if you keep giving values x equal to 0 we may have curve like this. This is not an exact curve but this is a representative curve. Similarly, we will have a value like this for let's say x equal to 2 and we can continue in the same forms and we can plot the streamline or the curves.